The sound of widely acclaimed singer Tenisa de Freitas. Recently, it won top honors at a Calypso competition, but neither the writer or the singer is reaping the benefits. A copyright law dating back more than 55 years is said to be preventing artists in Guyana from profiting from their efforts, and with that, from preventing the growth of the country's music industry. Without an enabling environment, it becomes difficult for your creativity and that of your artists to, uh, to, to really blossom. The laws on the books are also said to have resulted in a perfect breeding ground for piracy. Piracy is so rampant here that roving kiosks like these blast pirated music openly in the streets of the capital, Georgetown. You're part of the problem automatically. It's not a matter of choice. Because if you had to choose and there was the right and wrong, then I think automatically persons would want to go for the right. But then if the system is such that there isn't anywhere else, it's just, it's a norm. It's a situation that's said to be also preventing local talent from emerging. An original CD by a local artist costs five times more than a copy of a world-renowned artist. In a market this small, this price difference means they stand no chance of succeeding in their own country. But bootleggers aren't the only ones to blame for Guyana's music malaise. A finger is being pointed at its politicians. We will create momentum for change, but they will be stopped at the doors of parliament or stopped at the doors of the political directorate. And that state of affairs leaves musicians feeling very discouraged. I do um, feel that sometimes we should be uh, better off because, you know, being performers for so long and getting the recognition and people holding you at a high place, but yet you don't get the, the money that you deserve or whatever it is for the work that you do. Baby. Elsewhere in the Caribbean, music is central in promoting tourism and strengthening a sense of national identity. A simple change in a copyright law here may just mean the same could happen in Guyana. Virginia Lopez, Al Jazeera, Georgetown, Guyana.